Hi everybody, this video we are back to you with an interesting topic and this time it's about a very small component but a very important component in a solar installation which is the DC connectors commonly known as MC4 connectors. Having seen those pictures, what do you think would have caused these failures? Did you have an experience of a burnt MC4 connector in your solar power plant? I'm going to refer these DC connectors as MC4 connectors because they are commonly known as MC4 connectors throughout the world. Okay, let's get in detail and I'm going to explain you why such issues can happen in a DC connection. Here we have a lot of DC connectors that is the so-called MC4 connectors and they all look identical this is the male connector and this is the female connector that's how we call them all of them look very identical I mean this looks identical to this but they are not the same at all even though all of them are not from the same manufacturer they can still make contact for example these two come from the same manufacturer and they comfortably make a contact but if you use the female of this brand with a male of the another brand you still hear the click which means it is still making a contact except for some which is like this where you don't need a crimping you simply have to push in your cable and click it and then cover it up they make contact with their own but not with any other brand there are only some companies who make such connectors and it's really important that you make a contact of a male and a female from the same brand the reason is because the plastic on the outside of these connectors may look the same but not the interiors now look at these interior parts of each brand they all look different this is a female contact which is going to go inside this and this is a male contact which is going to go inside this plastic piece when they make contact the contact is really tight and it's complete there is no air gap and the length of the connector suits it well but when you mismatch a contact from a company with another contact from another company they don't go well so much and you are forming an air gap inside the connectors this can create the issue there can be air gaps which are heating the connector first and over a period of time this is going to burn your connectors this may not happen on the first day or not even in the first month but this will definitely create a impact on the connection after your installation is done this is one main reason why you should not mix and match the connectors always use a male and a female from the same brand to make a good contact adding to this a improper crimping or a 
unusual sized cable for this connector can also create an issue that's apart but why we are bringing this topic up is because we normally be blinded about this i'm just gonna give you some tidbits about how to choose a good quality of these connectors in my hand i have a cheaper version of the connector and a good quality of the connector which is a little bit expensive but a very good quality and in the cheaper version you can see the polycarbonate the feel of the plastic is not so good and the rim is a circle so when you just twist it there are chances you might slip out of it but here you can see there is a sawtooth setup which will make this ceiling sit in its position whereas on this the ceiling can actually slip out so that's one difference with the second difference you can see a metal casing inside this good quality connector which will effectively hold its terminal but on this side the connection is made on a plastic by this metal piece the metal piece is going to make a contact with a plastic so there are chances when you just try pulling it off the plastic can break but on this the plastic is not gonna break so it's all about the quality of the material used and the a little bit of engineering done on the product with some extra material given inside makes this connection permanent for a 25 year installation so now we are done with the quality of the product but adding to this comes the time for installing this product this product even though is of good quality comes with a metal connector which is like this which means i will have to use a crimping tool on this for the connector to make a good contact with my four square mm or a six square mm cable this in a bigger plant can increase the time of installation or if there was an improper crimping done by an official or a person working at site which can again create an issue in spite of this contact being a good quality contact now i'm going to introduce you to something new look at this contact this one comes with a setup where you don't need a crimping tool this is one single setup the contact is already inside you just have to put your cable in press this metal piece with your index finger and it's gonna simply crimp in the cable and then you are done you just have to tighten it and then it's done and this is again of a good quality and a, from a very good company so this can reduce your time of installation so one is about choosing the right component and one is about choosing a component which will also reduce our time of installation